Solenoids are awesome. They're a great low cost solution when you need to do short range actuation and you don't want to use something more expensive like a DC motor or a servo. They're good in situations when you want to do a latching mechanism such as a door lock or if you want to punch something quickly like a pinball or if you'd like to do a levering system or if you'd want to do a mechanical trigger of some sort or even like pushing a button if you don't want to hack into something that's valuable and you don't want to tear it apart. The Robot Geek solenoids come in large, medium, and small. So we have different sizes and strengths to meet anyone's needs. What's great about these is they are both push and pull solenoids. Sometimes solenoids are just one or the other. We made one that can do both. So you'll notice that if you put something on this end, it's going to do pulling movement. If you put something on this end, it's going to push. And you can just flip this over or go either way. The ends of our shafts are tapped so that you can just easily mount something onto it on both sides. And then both sides of the solenoid itself has tapped mounting holes, which makes this a very easy solution in many different scenarios. The way a solenoid works is that when you apply power to the coil inside, it creates an electromagnetic field and that pulls the shaft through. So you can see here that it starts to actuate. Solenoids are also meant to be intermittent. So you're not supposed to set these on and have them holding for long times. They actually will heat up and you will lose strength. You can even burn out a coil. So please keep in mind that these are intermittent solenoids. They're only meant for very short periods of actuation. Something to keep in mind when you're building your mechanics around a solenoid is that the more that you have the shaft inside the coil, the stronger the response is going to be. So if you do preloading, which is building your mechanics where the shaft is already pushed a little bit in, then you're going to get a stronger response and you can push more weight. But you do have a smaller stroke length when you do that, so there is always a trade-off between the two. You can download the data sheet on the product pages and we have all of the stats on what different strengths to expect at what voltages and at what sort of preload you have going on. We built a bunch of test rigs in order to get data on how strong these are. The large one is actually very strong. You can see it's moving a four pound battery with no problem. So if you're looking for a great solenoid, we've got them, small, medium, and large. Use them in your projects. Make an automatic pet feeder, make a pinball machine. Push some buttons with them, do something cool. Post it in the community. As always, we'd love to see what you guys create with this stuff.